guys what's up welcome or welcome back to my channel so in today's video as you can see I will be doing something with my hair and that is why it's wrapped in a towel I am going to be reviewing a few dry bar products I just recently got in an Ulta haul and I just wanted to kind of like use them on camera and show you guys how I feel about them the first thing is the dry bar blowout and then I got three different goodies I'm gonna show you. So if you're excited to see how this $150 hair tool works on my thick curly hair, then go ahead and keep watching. So I usually use my head wrap, but my daughter's has, per the use, misplace them? I don't even know. I don't even know where all these things go. You guys know I have thick curly hair. I've tried one of these brushes before, <laughs> and it was a flat one not a round brush and it just did not work for my hair my hair was way too thick way too curly and it just kind of gave it this weird kind of flat kind of poofy effect so I wanted to buy this one and I will tell you it was $150 for this and I was like oh lord please let it work because if it doesn't work this is so expensive I later found out that I think there's a Revlon one which is way cheaper uh, I've seen a lot of reviews and I think what I might do is also buy that one and compare them and then obviously if it's a good one I can just give it to Madison and my daughter she has hair that she likes to poof out to and curl so it won't go to waste but I'd like to compare the two so if you have the Revlon one let me know your thoughts because I have seen a lot of videos comparing the two but I basically wanted to get on here and show you guys the products that I bought from dry bar how I use them and how I feel about them kind of like a mini review if you will I haven't done anything hair related lately so I thought you know what I'm gonna do some hair related stuff and I've started straightening my hair again I stopped doing it for a while just to kind of give it a break from the heat so now we're back, which is kind of weird because it's fucking summer and it's hot. So I have never, PSA, used Dry Bar as the company. I've never used their brand. Uh, I paid for all of this. It all came from me. It is not sponsored. I just wanted to show you these goodies and how I feel about them. So now that we're done doing this. Let's get into it. So first things first, I did get the, like I said, this was $150 and it's called the Dry Bar, the Double Shot Blow Dryer Brush. So the Mr. Incredible Leave-In Conditioner is $26. Let's see how I'm supposed to use this. How to serve. For use on damp hair, spray into the palms and work into your hair or spray directly into hair. Comb through and style as usual. I'm going to do my palms because I feel like I get more, oh, oh. Oh, it is literally like a spray conditioner. That's suspicious. And I'm just gonna go and spread it through. I do condition my ends. I do not, however, condition the roots of my hair most of the time. So when I do a leave-in conditioner, I put that towards the top as well. That smells really good, but it definitely has like a, I wanna say it's like a men cologne spray smell cologne spray jeez jamie get it together all right then it says to comb through so we're gonna comb through and i just use a wide tooth comb does anybody else's hair fall out like this like this is worrying me it's been i mean it's done that for years but like i don't know i'm afraid i'm gonna like lose my hair that would freak me out so the next thing I'm going into is going to be the Jumpstart Quick Dry Blowout Serum. I do love a good blowout serum. I ran out of the other one that I had. It was actually sent to me by a different company and it was a spray where this is a serum. This is $29 and you just pump it. How to serve. Use on damp hair. Work a small dollop into your palms and apply evenly from roots to end. Comb through. Is that a dollop? Yeah. It'll be a dollop. A dollop a daisy. So I just work that through. This is supposed to basically help you, I guess your hair dry quicker. So when I blow my hair out, usually I like to part it how I'm going to wear it. And usually I do a side part. Yes, that's me side parting it up. And I always, always, always twist it up so it's out of my way. I do recommend that whatever you use, whether it be this one, the Revlon one, or the old hand dryer and brush situation that you clip the rest of your hair up because you don't want the heat from the blow dryer just kind of blowing your other hair that you're not working on all around because that's how you're gonna get the frizz. So then I will take about this much and we're gonna clip the rest of this up just so I don't get some extra frizz. You feel me? I got thick hair, it will frizz. And then I'm using the Hot Toddy before ironing spray. I know it says before ironing, but because I'm using heat, 
I always, always, always use a heat protectant. If you're not using a heat protectant, please do so. Stop, stop destroying your hair. So there are two, three settings, three, one, and cold. I'm gonna go on three. So you just twist it. And then obviously it comes out here. It does have like a little holder. So if you wanna do it like this, you can. And then obviously try to keep your hair from around here, just as a PSA. This is like the vacuum of the air. So it will kind of like grab your hair in there. You don't want that. And then it does have a nice thick handle, which I enjoy. I find that when I'm holding like a curling wand or something that's really, really skinny, it tends to cramp my hands, especially since I have carpal tunnel issues from typing for years so I just I like that it's thicker so it's easier to hold it's not heavy it is not heavy at all but it could be used if you needed to so we're gonna calm the freak down and get into this since you can't hear me what I'm going to do is I start at the top and then I'm gonna pull my hair through very slowly but that's what I'm going to be doing until I can get it dried the one thing I will say when I used it the first time um, a week ago is it doesn't get the top of my hair as dry as I would like so sometimes that can be bothering because if you have curly hair it'll kind of leave it like a little wiggly if you kind of wavy to straight hair it's probably not as noticeable but this is gonna be a blowout so if anything that leaves me with a little volume Just be careful when turning because you don't want to get your hair tangled up in here. Okay, that'll be a situation also. I will say I do like that it's a thicker one because I feel like if I got the single, it actually would not be able to do this much hair at one time. Now, obviously, if I were to go like this, like this, I'm going to show you if I were to break it in half because some people don't like to do so much at one time. It would get done much, much faster. So I should probably try that, huh? Now you will notice when I was doing it, the front piece I did under and then the one piece I did over. The reason I do that is because I don't want my entire head to go whoosh. And I had that like, can I speak to your manager <laughs> Bob situation? So I will kind of like rotate whether I'm going down or I'm going under or I'm going over and just give it like a, you know, once over. Now, if this gets to be too poofy for me I will probably run a hair straightener through it once I'm done but sometimes that's the only thing I will say about these brushes is you can't really get them to here so it kind of gives you like this kinky wavy look but if you look under here like it it's a good okay this is nice and my hair feels so nice so what I do when it's done I know this seems weird is I twist it since I'm not straightening my hair, it's okay to have curl and poof. Now, if you're straightening your hair, you obviously do not want to put a curl in it. But I do it like that, so that way it kind of still holds it and gives it a little bit of curl, if that makes any sense. It doesn't make any sense, but again, I just don't want my hair flopping in the dry, in the hot air, because it'll make it frizzy. My hair frizzes really, really fast, so I have to be careful. I'm 
of a cooling setting is gonna be better for your hair. I do recommend that if you are trying to get it to blow out sh more straight with just a little curl, that you, look at that, look at look, ha, um, that you put it on the heat setting because the cold was just curling the hair. It was just curling the hair. So I'm gonna go in here and do some more and fast forward this. So what I do is I do my sides first and then I work on my back and then go through and do the roots just to make sure they're completely dry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hop off camera and do the rest of this and then I will come back and do what I do afterwards and show you guys the results. So I'll be back in just a second for you and probably like 30 minutes for me. <laughs> so I will tell you it does dry very fast. When I did this off camera on my own just to try it, it literally took me like 20 minutes, which is never the case to blow dry my hair. Because I will tell you like my favorite part is that I can do it with one hand or go like this in the back where when I have the rolling brush and the hair dryer, I'm trying to like, did I, did I get it? Did, am I going in the right direction? So the only thing is, like I said, it doesn't really get to the top as much. Now it is frizzy up there, but I have extremely frizzy hair. So because of that, the next thing that I always go into is a fizz fixer serum of some kind and this is the Cebu Frizz Fix Straightening Balm and Keratin. I have several different types of these so anything will really work and I put like this much in and I really massage my hands because I don't want to wet my hair and I just work it through mainly the tops like the roots the tops. I mainly focus on the tops and not so much the actual hair itself because that part does not get as frizzy when I blow it out. It literally blows it out for me. But if you look like that, if you look, that literally took most of that frizz right out. And then you can always use a finishing spray, which is not a hairspray. I'm not telling you to put hairspray in it because that will make it hard and crunchy. A finishing spray is made a little bit different and it's for like when you curl your hair or blow it out and you wanna have that hold but you don't want that stiffness, that's gonna be what you want to use. I have to go get my finishing spray because I forgot it. So I cannot find my Redken one, so I'm using one that I got from TJ Maxx that I really, really like and it's the Under Control by Salon Graphics. And it's a finishing spray. I don't know. It's just one that I grabbed and I've used it for quite a while. And then I just kind of like spray it through and then just put my fingers through it. But that is the finishing product. I really hate that my hair has faded so much that it's turning like yellow. But you get the gist of it. The color doesn't matter. I'm going to probably get the Revlon one just to try it for you guys. I'll probably do it on camera, this versus that kind of situation. However, I I think it's an, an amazing item. Do I think that it, you have to pay $150 for this? No, not if you could pay like 30 or 40 bucks for a Revlon one. It's just one of those like treat yourself situations. And I really wanted one for a long time. It popped up on Ulta and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna get it. And I did, and I kind of love it. And I'm here for it because I feel like when it comes to blowing out my hair, it can be really complicated. Like I said, just like using your hands and then in the mirror, of course you get used to it as you do it. But I feel like this is definitely a much easier way to approach it those flat and like flat ironing brushes do not work on my hair whatsoever so I just don't I'm not a fan of them and I was kind of skeptical about this one but with it being a blowout like it just it gives my hair body and bounce and I look like I just walked out of the salon with my little curls and my little poofy poof and just feeling myself. If the Revlon one is just as good and cheaper, I say go for it. I don't see anything wrong with substituting for a lower end brand if it's going to give you that higher end look. And again, I will get that up as soon as I get one for you guys. If you don't want to waste money or $150 on a blow dryer, then don't get it. But I do really, really enjoy it. I'm glad I bought it. My hair looks fantastic. My hair 
water feels fantastic. So I think that this is a plus if you want to do a treat yourself moment and spend that kind of money. If not, I would definitely wait until like Sephora and Ulta. I know they're having a hair like sale situation going on right now. And that's how I got the GHD straightener for 30% off. So just look around and see. You might surprise yourself to find that you can find it a little bit cheaper online or during a sale. But I really, really do like it. And I'm also glad that I got the bigger one because I do feel like it does it much quicker. I can do more hair at one time. Also, PSA, if anyone was wondering, it's just a last minute review. This is hot. <laughs> I accidentally I was doing it in the back and I put my finger right on the metal and I was like Sam, mm. it hurts so bad so just don't touch it if you're getting it but if you guys have this blow dryer let me know down below if you have the Revlon one let me know what your thoughts are should I get it is it comparable so I hope you guys like this video if you did make sure you give it a big thumbs up for me make sure you are subscribed to my channel I do new videos every single week guys and you don't want to miss out on those and I will see you guys on the next one bye